to be underwhelmed <laughs> all right I'm standing in the front porch I'm not going to show you the front of the house just so I can keep my anonymity but um, that's my front garden and then this is the porch yep it's not even attached to the wall um, so this will be going down I've got my keys in my pocket this will be coming down and we're hoping to use the windows um, and the door possibly this door um, as my greenhouse all right then there's a lot of rubbish in here a lot of electrical kit so you need imaginations here this is my hallway and here we will have a um, panelled, uh, oh dear, panelled where you hang your coats up and uh, that was where the old light switch was and in here, oh dear, the whole hallway will be panelled, my husband will, David will panel it and I'm going to keep that radiator and um, we put a radiator cover we'll need to box the heating pipes all of the heating pipes in the house are surface mounted so um a lot of boxing in will be needing to be done because we're not going to chisel chisel them into the wall <laughs> all right then oh i'm depressing myself are you coping it's not going to get any better <laughs> all right so this is our hallway the table that I was going to, that I was um, making, this shabby chic kind of grey table, console table that is going to go there. And my lamp will be in here as well. It's quite echoey, isn't it? There's my, my lights coming in. All right, where should we we'll go in the living room first? I forgot to open the curtains in there, but never mind. We'll go in the living room first. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, so then. This first alcove will have a desk in, we think. And this is where I will do my editing, editing for you. And the girls will do their homework in this area too. We have got a wood burning stove on order. Um, that's coming in uh, mid-August. And we, we wondered what, I've had a wood burning stove before, so I know when you have to buy your logs in and you don't have your own supply, it is quite an expensive thing to do. But given the state of the, yeah, given the state of play in the whole of the world and energy and we just felt having a stock of logs in the shed, at least we could heat one room if it came to it. So yes, we're getting a, a wood burner in there. Um, we think the fire and the fireplace is around the 1960s, 1970s. This is where our TV will go and um, we have a space for the sofa here. So it's not a huge living area. <clears throat> Pretty typical of um, English, small English houses, to be honest. It's about the size of what I've had in, in previous houses. So this is my living room. And with it being a bungalow, I'll take you into slowly and make you not feel dizzy better go and open the curtains first oh, look at the mess yeah so this will be my living room okay oh that's me bashing the box oh, oh not do it that way try and open these blinds so we can see what we're doing all right then let me go back to the door Slowly, slowly, Michelle. Uh, yeah, uh, electrical engineer kit. This will be my bedroom. <laughs> I could see the vision, but I'm struggling to see the vision now. Uh, 
this as well, bed will go. Uh, two chests of drawers. I have, um, if you've seen in the kitchen, in, my, in the house that I sometimes, sometimes podcast in the house that I podcast in, you'll see my food shelves behind my, my shoulder sometimes. I'm going, my husband, David, made those for me. So I'm going, they're probably, if they'll fit, they're going to come here as a bookshelf. And I do have, you haven't seen it, I don't think, but I have a a red um, tartan armchair. I think I would like it to come here, to come here. So this is my bedroom. Um, my furniture's cream. So this will just be a very basic, not basic, but... Um, not not much colour, just so I like my bedroom to be able to stay calm in, if you get my, my gist. All right, then. Oh, dear. This will be Lucy's room. Lucy is my 13-year-old, and you'll know her as being the girl who likes the horses. So this is her room. Now, Lucy's lucky because she gets to look out into the garden and I'm not going to show you the garden until tomorrow night because um, this is probably going to come in in about 10 minutes long and that's that's what... Oh, look at the mess. Look out. Look at the poof, dearie me. Yeah, Lucy spent a lot of time um, stripping the wallpaper off this wall and she's going to come in in a minute and she's going to be devastated at the sight of her room. But it needs doing. We need new electrics in. Okay, out of Lucy's room. The next one is the bathroom. Sorry, toilet there. Now, the bathroom is right at the end of the list because the bathroom is fully functional. It's clean. It's relatively tidy. There's hardly any electrical works need doing into it. So we're going to live with this for a very long time. It's the last thing to, to be done possibly need a new floor but um it's pretty clean to be honest it's pretty new uh so that is that just a shower in there i do lose my bath <laughs> i'm used to having a bath but showers are more economical aren't they okay back out and now we're going into the dining room this is where a lot of the work has been done. This is my dining room. It's hard to picture it, isn't it? Yep. Yep. This here is, is part of the kitchen being pulled out because they needed access to the, the kitchen there. All right, there's not a lot I can say about it, really. There's the... <laughs> oh, mind the wire. And then here... Is my delightful, very small kitchen. I can't really talk about what we're going to do because we don't really know what we're going to do. Other than we're going to use as much as um, possible in terms of the carcasses. There's one in here. One in here. Put, try and put that back in maybe. Um, I do have my cooker um that was bought months ago it's been in my living room for months um we bought that um in the 50 we, we got that for 50 percent off of the sale so yeah this is what we're dealing with the electricians have put three oh three spotlights and a mistake i'll need to fix that oh my word what's that what's happened to my roof I didn't see that last time. Great. <laughs> oh dear. Right, all right. And my favourite bit, although you won't be able to see what exactly what it's like. Try not to show you the garden because I like the garden. I want to show you that tomorrow. This is my sunroom. Let's do it this way. Yeah, my sunroom. Oh, look at the rubbish out there. So this is where I wanted to podcast this morning. And it wasn't happening, was it? <laughs> but it's a delightful space. Um, it's a south-facing sunroom, so... I think I'll have some nice, relaxing mornings in here. I'm going to keep those tiles, except I'm just going to paint over them with tile paint.
I forgot to tell you about where Amy was staying. Amy is my 17 year old who will be going to university uh, in just over a year's time. Um, she is very lucky. Turn it around. <laughs> she's going up in the loft. Um, she's getting a part of the loft. No point showing you it. I can't, I'm not pulling those ladders down. Not just yet. I will take you up there eventually. Um, she's getting a new access. So Amy's access will be up here in the dining room. So when she's home, sorry if that made you dizzy, <laughs> a bit too fast. So when she's home, she will pull the ladders down and then we'll only see her a handful of, of weeks a year, but at least she'll have her own space at home. Um, we, we, as you can see, it's not a very big house. It's, it's the little house of compromises. Um, but uh, as long as Amy has her own space and Lucy has her own space, then it, it should it should all work out. It should be quite a nice, happy little home for us all one day. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think you'll ever see it in a worse state. So, um, are you with me? Are you... Are you are you ready to um, see what we do, how we do it? And the state of the world means that everything is so much more expensive than we thought it would be even just six months ago when we started this. We're going to have to do a lot of things ourselves. Me and my husband, David, is handy. Um, yeah. I'm daunted and I'm... Um, It'll be fine. We will roll our sleeves up and we will do stuff. The, the, tonight we're going to, I'm going to turn the camera off, but tonight we're going to um, just try and clean the surfaces, hoover up the dust and just get it clean again. Um, the electricians hopefully will be back in next weekend. There, um, My husband, D David, knows knows these, these lads that they work in his depot, so... They do it on a weekend for us because there is such a backlog. Um, if we paid um, electricians to do with the job all in one go, there is a long waiting list. So even though we're just going from weekend from weekend, we're still getting the job done probably quicker than than going on the end of a waiting list. Uh, all right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow and I'll show you my garden tomorrow. Um, it's a little bit more cheery <laughs> than the house. Thanks ever so much. Thanks ever so much for watching.